So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about some content marketing tips. How to create content that is going to attract your ideal customer to subscribe, to watch you, to know, like, and trust you, and to eventually purchase your products and your services. So we're gonna be going over 10 tips on content marketing in this video. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube. I really appreciate it. All right, so the first tip for creating content and content marketing is to define your audience. This always needs to be the first step. Before creating any content, you need to identify who it is you're targeting, who it is you want to consume your content, what their pain points are, what their needs are, what their interests are, what their demographics is. Are they male, female, age range, their income brackets, their hobbies, right? All of this needs to be uh, understood first, right? Once you actually have a, a uh, defined audience in mind, it makes it so much easier to craft your content around that target, that specific person that you want to attract, that you want to target, that you want to uh, want to communicate directly to. All right. Number two is to set clear goals. You want to define clear goals for your content marketing strategy, whether it's to generate leads, whether it's to increase brand awareness, whether it's just to go right to sales and conversions. What is your goal with this? All right. That is very important because that's going to dictate how you craft your content itself. Number three is to create valuable content. So focusing on high valuable, high quality content that really provides a lot of value to your audience rather than just promoting your product or your service, this is going to lead to increased conversion rates, increased uh, likability, increased trust and expertise in your field and in your niche specifically. And it's gonna benefit you for many, many years to come if you do that and you focus on giving value rather than just trying to take 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 from an audience all right number four is to use a variety of formats so experiment with different types of content whether it's video whether it's infographics whether it's blog posts whether it's podcasts whatever it is that is going to number one work for you best right maybe you don't want to be on video maybe you do best you know behind the scenes not showing your face and just writing articles or maybe you want to do a podcast instead of video find out what works for you and experiment right if something isn't working though it in enough time and then maybe it's time to change up your strategy maybe it's time to change up the format that you are using itself all right number five is to optimize for search engines you want to optimize your content for search by including relevant keywords you want to optimize your titles you want to use meta descriptions you want to add urls right all of this is really really important because in the beginning you're going to have no one looking at your content and it needs to be found somehow so search is one of the easiest ways for that to happen all right, number six is to promote your content, actually promote it and push it through other forms of social media channels, through your email list, that's gonna reach a wider audience, all right? Even if it's paid advertising, something is that is going to, you need to do consistently because it's gonna get the ball rolling for you, all right? You can't just post and, and not share it, not let it be known on other channels to be found. All right, number seven is to monitor your analytics. So using analytic tools, to monitor your content performance, monitor your engagement, monitor your traffic, monitor your conversions. This is all really important because if you need to realize if something's not working, don't do that again. If something is working, do more of that and your analytics will tell you that. All right, number eight is to repurpose your content. Now, some people might not like hearing this, but you can easily repurpose your content. You can easily, you know, take long, uh, long video format and chop it into YouTube shorts or TikToks or Instagram reels, or you could easily do that or repurpose it in a different way. Say something in a different way and post that video again or post a TikTok again. It doesn't matter. This is going to reach more people. It's going to uh, allow you to not burn out also at the same time, not try to consistently think of, oh, what do I have to talk about today? What do I have to do today, right? Number nine is to collaborate with influencers. So partnering with influencers and industry experts is really gonna amplify your content. It's gonna help to reach new audience 
audiences, reach their audiences, and tap into people that you might not have been able to tap into before. All right, and the number 10, probably the most important content marketing tip is to stay consistent. All right, this is, you know, consistency is key in content marketing, in creating content. Keep creating valuable content on a regular basis to keep your audience engaged, to keep your brand at the top of their mind, and to be found easier, All right? You can't just expect to create one, two, five, 10, 20 pieces of content and expect to be found overnight. That is not how it happens. It needs to be done consistently over and over and over. This is a marathon and it's not a sprint. So just, just remember that when you start to create your content. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.